cat people! How are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigoni and today we are doing an one brand tutorial makeup with W7. You might wonder how did I came with the idea of one brand makeup tutorial. Here's the deal. Uh, recently I received a PR box from Stella's, which is uh, a Swedish shop who retails uh, cosmetics from different brands. I decided to have my box full of W7 products. I have owned some W7 products from before, like uh, which I have bought from my own money. And uh, so I thought, why not? So I have collected everything here and today's makeup will be made only with W7 products. If you're curious, let's start! As always, I will start my tutorial with what else? Brows! And actually, I have two very interesting products. First of all, I have this Brosom, which is a brow gel and uh, the package contains uh, a brush as well, two wet brows and also I have received brow stamps, these are the stencil kit I've never uh, used anything similar in my life I don't know if I'm gonna like it but at least I wanna try because I'm super curious so what I'm gonna do is try to uh, define my brows with the gel and after that I will put that on my brows and try to draw extra hair in order to make it more natural so uh, let's see how it's working okay um, I think that I don't really enjoy is that this has a tofu applicator so I definitely need to use the brush but they have already included the brush so yeah that's great I'm gonna do that to my brush since a little bit and then with the other um, tip of my uh, sorry, I forgot the word. Brush anyway. I will start drawing here to fill the gaps. I don't know if I uh, chose the correct you know, shade for my eyebrows. I think that this is kind of too dark, but we will see. Uh, maybe it's not. We will see. It's the first time that I'm using a product like that. Usually the products, they have uh, this inside the gel. So I'm just using this and uh, you know try to brush my eyebrows a little bit but yeah i don't know if i want to go uh, to the front part with this because i feel that it's gonna be super dark and now i feel that i have kind of shaped the brows uh, and the thing is i'm gonna use whatever i have left on the brow Shh, brush to do the front part here because i don't want to make it very dark because it's not natural um, I will try to use this product again off camera with uh, the spoolie to see what's gonna happen so I'm gonna try to use the stencil and um, basically I don't have a brow pencil so I'm gonna use the lip pencil um, to try to shape the brows a little bit more but I don't know how I'm supposed to use that because I feel that I need to hold it with uh, both of my hands, sorry if I'm off a little bit now, yeah, something like that and uh, try to fill the gaps or, yeah, but how am I supposed to hold the mirror, you know? Oh, th this is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be difficult. Oh my god, no. Uh, so this product is kind of no from me. I don't know if I use the bigger one, what's gonna happen, but I'm sorry I didn't like it. I want to be completely honest with you. Even with the products that I got as a PR, I want to be completely honest. And I can understand that some of you might be feel good by using this and might be helpful, but it's not helpful for me. So what I'm gonna do now is turn off the camera, clean a little bit here. So this, kinda. The stencils, no. <laughs> okay, so I fixed the brows and since I didn't have any base, from W7, I did my base off camera. For the eyes, I'm gonna use the On The Rocks palette. I will start 
uh, by doing something very, you know, base, as base. So I will go for Moscato, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Italian friends, please, write down in the comments what's the correct pronunciation. Okay, uh, this is a very nice color in order to have a base to diffuse later on other things. So my review for the products really doesn't have to do with the, the shop by itself because uh, I'm very happy with our collaboration. They had an amazing customer service. For example, um, I don't know if you have seen my Instagram stories. If you haven't seen them, people go to my Instagram page and see the highlights. Uh, yeah, another brush. This is uh, all my brushes going to be for from Morphe. And I'm going with the body shot, which is uh, this shade right here. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, uh, more orangey salmon color. I'm gonna go with uh, dark red maraschino cherry. Oops. <laughs> anyway, I hope you, that you saw it. What I have done until now is that I have uh, infused three colors uh, to have, you know, a very nice blended base to work. And then I'm going to continue with a very nice dark blue that this palette has. Its name is um, Caracao. Here. This one. This one right here. Anyway, I have put the, the blue here and I'm going to blend it with the um, red parts. Of course, I do this to my brush every time that I have a new color. And that's why I don't have uh, almost, not almost, I don't have fallout. Yeah, I don't have fallout at all. Yeah, I like this depth. So I think that we have it until there. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna cut the crease and I will be back. So as you can see, I have finished with this eye and I'm gonna continue the tutorial with you guys for this eye. So what I have used is this color espresso martini uh, to try to blend it with a darker caracao and then I diffuse it with uh, some paint toast and uh, on the inner corner I have used this the sugar ramp uh, I'm gonna take an amount from espresso martini oh by the way look at my hand there that's the Pilouis ba base that I used to do the cut crease of course as always I'm spraying my brush in order to make sure that I have uh, the most vibrant uh, glitter color. Do you like this color combination? Because I really love when something contains blue, as you can clearly see from my hair. Okay, so the most important thing here is to find where you have finished with the gold in the other eye in order not to have uneven eyes which is very very important here I think until here we are fine and we need a little bit more gold to blend it with the sugar rum yeah I feel very good with this eye look I'm gonna enhance a little bit more the espresso martini on the other eye because I feel that it's kind of muted in comparison but yeah yeah so we have the transition that we want great so here are the eyes, I need to do the bottom part. Basically what I'm gonna do is uh, grab the caracal and go under here. I will take from NYX the glitter primer. I know these are not W7 products, but you can just skip this step <laughs> that easy. And I'm gonna take a very tiny eyeliner brush and I'm gonna take an amount from here because I wanna show how I'm doing this. What I'm gonna do is take an amount, close my eye, and just follow the cut crease line. Then uh, I will go a little bit more on the red part to make sure that it's gonna be, you know, um, you will see it even if I have my eyes open, because that's the most important part. I'm gonna go uh, to this glitter. This is from Magical Makeup, Sparkling Glitter Dust, the shade Firefly. And I'm gonna take some glitter parts from here and try to apply them to my crease, like that. And I'm gonna do the same to the other eye off camera. 
I'm gonna do the part, the bottom part of the eye. I'm gonna apply an eye pencil since it's not gonna be. Ah, oh, no, 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 no! I have a W7 one, so I will do that step on camera. So just wait to do the same on the other eye, and I will be back. So I'm gonna apply lashes, and then we will do the face. I have a primer from W7. Uh, this is a gift from uh, Stella's. This is Miracle Matte. But yeah, I feel that until now it's doing great. I I can kind of feel it on my skin that it is a little bit more matte and not that oily. I can even see it. And uh, it's kind of sticky, which I really appreciate because that makes the perfect base for the foundation. And talking about foundation, uh, I'm gonna use the Face Fantasy Matte Finish. It's a good one, uh, medium coverage, I would say. I don't know if I can uh, build more product upon it. So I'm applying a little bit close to the eyebrows and then after that, I think that we have finished and we will go to the other steps, which is gonna be blush, highlighter, and bronzer and uh, now i have two powders from them to show you uh this is the one the flawless face which i'm gonna apply under my eye area it looks like that okay i think that i like the powder uh it's, it's so cute it's so cute look at it <laughs> i was saying that you can find everything from w7 at uh, stella's and I will leave you links down below. Like, this is a very nice bronzer, Honolulu. For the cheeks, I'm gonna use their candy blush in the shade Scandal. So here we have it. It's a very nice blush. Next step, powder. What I'm gonna use is the setting, uh, setup, special effects powder from them. I'm applying a little bit of powder, you know what the T zone, which is the most dangerous zone, and for highlighter, you know, I wasn't very sure because I don't own any highlighter of them, but I thought that, uh, what's what's the name? Sugar Rum would be great as a highlighter, and since I have already used it at my eyes, I feel it's gonna be amazing. So, I'm taking an amount, and I will use it. So, we are pretty much done with the face. So here I'm starting with a lip pencil. Uh, it's the very nude lip twister. And I'm gonna do my lips. That's the lip liner. And I'm gonna use the actual liquid lipstick. It's Mega Matte series. The shade, I don't know, ah, nude. Let's finish with the setting spray which is of course a mattifying setting spray i found my setting spray and as i'm applying it i'm gonna tell you the greek word of the day for today okay come on spray great cliffhanging right <laughs> anyway uh the greek word for today is the word for collaboration since this video is a collaboration with stellas so in greece we say synergasia si Ne erga si a. Say with me. Synergasia. Si ne erga si a. Write to me about your collaborations down in the comments and try to use the Greek word. And that's it for today. This is my finished look. Thank you so, so much for being here with me today. I hope that you learned things. I hope that I help you uh, with my review for W7 products. I really enjoy doing these videos. More one brand tutorial videos are coming. And do you know what um, can you do to make sure that you're not gonna miss them? Subscribe and then ring the bell. And in this way, you will receive notification from each one of my videos. Great, and if you wanna see some pictures of that, 
Do you know where you can find me? You can find me on Instagram, which is gonna be catladyandigoni, down here. Have a look, have a look, and you will find everything here. Once again, thank you so, so much for being here with me today, and bye-bye!